It's the start of June and we are well and truly in the June Gap. Hello, I'm Griffey, so I'm going to win Here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now I've been on the bees this morning, and I'm Anna actually came with me, and she said, Griff, there's not that much bees flying. I was thinking, oh, because we're still, we're still playing catch up at the minute, and I get around all the bees, doing swarm control damage, and working out what's, what's gone right, what's gone wrong. And I thought, oh, I bet you all the bees in this site swarmed. But it turns out that wasn't the case. Some, some of them had swarmed and some of them had swarmed with casts until there's pretty much nothing left. But most of them were pretty good, so th quite thankful. But she was right, the bees were hardly flying even though the boxes were full. Now, I didn't bring the camera with me because it's been so hot, I didn't want to cook the battery. But I've just come down to the home apiary and yeah, bees are flying. but nothing like they should be. It's three o'clock, it's like 20 degrees, perfect weather to produce honey, and the bees are just pretty much being idle. Now, why is that? And it's all down to the June gap. The bees know there's no point wasting all their time and energy flying all over the place, looking for nectar because there's no flowers out and that's what do, the June gap is. The June gap is is a period of time within the year where there's no flowering plants out there that gives nectar to the bees. So we call it the June gap. It means there's no honey coming in at all. Now this month your bees are actually at risk of starving. Now some of the weaker smaller hives, the ones that haven't been able to make any spring honey, I have started feeding them now. I've had to put fondant on, on a lot of them. And uh, what I've actually been feeding them is I've been feeding them fondant with the pollen in it so that they get a bit of protein so they can still develop some brood, try and gain some strength ready for the main flow. I mean, look how still and calm it is. I mean, normally it's like Heathrow. All the bees are coming in, coming out. And it's super, super still and it's middle of the day. Unbelievable. But that is the June gap for you. Scary, it's eerily quiet here. Almost makes you think your bees have been poisoned, there's something horrifically wrong. And this is exactly what we felt earlier today. Just nothing flying and it's down with that June gap. So, I don't think the positive of this video is though, I don't think the June gap is gonna last that long this year. I'm anticipating two weeks of this. Uh, where I am in West Wales, if the June Gap, if you're in the, the east of the country, the June Gap might have started way before now. But today I'm seeing that for the first time. The Hawthorn has well and truly gone over now. That was the last of the spring honey. And I'm just, I'll take you to a bit of field where I saw some clover. Now clover and bramble, that's what's going to make our season, especially here in West Wales. Probably 90% of our honey is going to come in. June and August, but as the year goes goes on, the seasons comes a bit quicker, so we might, the Sundays might start coming in now this month, and that's what I'm hoping, so I've just been walking here, here we go. Now that is the clover. Delicious honey, very light honey off the clover, and at the same time, I can't see any bramble budding up here, but Bramble then is the next big one. So if you guys, and me included, if we can hold the bees strong for the next two weeks, till that flow kicks in, if we get good weather like this, then the whole year will be worth it. But I just wanted to do a quick video explaining to you what the June gap is, and it is a scary time of year for beekeepers, because when your bees a full sitting in boxes like that, not doing a thing. They're only thinking of doing one thing, and that's swarming. Nothing worse than full beehives bursting at the seams with the bees, and they've got nothing to do. And we all know the saying the devil makes work for idle hands. 
and I don't want the devil giving my bees any work because I want them to stay in the boxes, produce honey when that main flow comes in. So most of my hives are looking pretty strong, even though uh, we've had a terrible spring, I've had two weeks of being ill, finally starting to feel right, getting back to it in a big way, spending most of the days driving around doing bees, doing splits. But it's the last thing I want now is more of them swarming. So I think every super I've got is out. I'm building more every night as we speak, trying to get an extra 100 boxes out there this year. And if, if those boxes get filled, regardless of what, what swarmed, what didn't swarm, it would be a good year. Well, that's it for this video. So the key take-homes take is, if your bees have got any spring honey on, or you've extracted the spring honey, check the feed levels, because your bees can starve this time of year very, very easy. And the bigger they are, the faster they starve as well. So that's the big take-home is. And the next take-home is, if your bees are very idle, and it's warm, and you're thinking there's something wrong, it's just there's nothing out there for them to forage on. And they're just keeping hold that energy, not consuming too much, waiting for that main flow to come. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.